looked at the path of this morning's tornado, the National Weather Service confirming just seconds ago that this was actually, Matt, upgraded to an EF3. Wasn't on the ground very long, but man, the damage was, it was just everywhere. It, it was an interesting situation. So I would talk with the National Weather Service, and when they issued that EF2, they were mainly going off the damage in Johnson, and then right along 71, as you were close to the Springdale Country Club, uh, the Brashears uh, Furniture Store. But then once the tornado got towards the George Elementary School, Darren was a little bit earlier today uh, with that gymnasium getting hit you started to get closer to the EF3 category and then where we were with that Nilfisk uh, plant there where they're making the floor cleaning equipment with that metal structure how much damage we saw there finally the National Weather Service said okay this is actually an EF3 tornado it's been a while since we've had an EF3 uh, especially hitting a major populated area uh, but then the damage sort of stops after the airport, but then the National Weather Service is also talking about uh, they had reports of debris all the way towards the southern edge of Beaver Lake near Hickory Creek. So the tornado damage was back towards the south, but some of that debris was lifted several thousand feet up into the air, carried several miles. You know, that's about five, six miles as you head towards the southern ends of Beaver Lake. Now it's getting cold uh, temperatures right now. We are in uh, the 30s and 40s. We also still have power outages, although we're doing a lot better than we were earlier. All right, Matt, thanks. New at 10, here's another look at that new surveillance video showing uh, that was captured in Fayetteville showing the power of today's storm. This is video captured at the Melco Theater off Joyce Boulevard there as the storm 